Stellar now playing on that side of the map. He'll fall as well. Uh, it's just not going well now for the Boston Uprising. They're just getting picked apart. They're getting cleaned up. They lose Persian Mat. Even if they bring him back into the fight later on, it's not really going to do the job. Becker now can hold the fort here in this side room. And now with Diva able to play more aggressively, Matt, it's not just about trying to absorb damage for a Reinhardt. You get to see players like Neko fire up and take some fights into his own hands. Nanabu's had to be used on Blase. Persia attempting to mess with Libero when he was put to sleep. But again, Mecha is everywhere right now. Comes to the rescue. He also has a self-destruct if he needs to refresh that mech. Just your Telex now who's sticking around like a bad smell. 99% to 91. Overtime for New York, Matt. It's just a wrecking ball on the point. Stella can't touch. You know, Boston had... ...that he would get it, but that's by the bye. Immortality fields removed now. The transcendence to the point. Animo or Mana, shall I say, was out at sea there. No shield to hide behind. Blase may be frozen. Should be able to recover with that harmony orb on him and the extra healing. Persia able to take down Nene here. And well, Boston with the numbers now to be going on with. Whole hog used here by Mecco. He's actually able to find fusions with that one. A big turnaround. Kalex trying to find the pick here, but oh, Animo is so elusive. Around the pillar is playing Jonark now. And this is starting to break down to a bit of a mess. It's a 2v3 favoring Boston currently. But Mecco has a lot of health and a hook to follow up with. Stella is down. Immortality field thrown out onto the point by Kellex, but that's removed quickly enough. A scrap gun getting rid of it. Yeah, Fusion's coming back here, though, on the Wrecking Ball. As Boston wants to commit to this, that'll be... Didn't last long, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you're going to have the Matrix go down. Your supercharger go down here as well. Oh, that'll be it. It's been good. Even the last time that Persia used Transcendence, it's able to connect with a three-player Nate, okay. and that's going to be a pick here from Color Hexon and Nene. Probably their best opportunity. They got to go now, but you see a three-player biotic grenade there from Jonah. Yeah, Jonah now, last couple fights, has been dominating them. Jonah going down, though. Color Hex has found that issue. Libero's taken out. Persia, that aggressive nature is paying off here. Transcendence for the Boston Uprising map. They're definitely doubling down on trying to win this fight and end the match here and now. Can New York stall out? It doesn't look like it. We're into overtime now for Boston and Color Hex. Has a perfect view of the situation. Right. Persia, you know he likes to pick aggressively. This time it pays off. Ordered by Boston. Can they get a kill with this though? They need to stem the flow somehow, but New York keep coming one after another. Stella finally finds a release foul, but Kellex has also traded out. Fusion Supercharger is now out of commission. Uh, Not a good uh, sign. New York gonna flip the point back, and they're already at 99%, Matt. This will be a flip from the NYXL. Just Stellar there to try and get a touch. He'll barely make it, but you have Mecco there with the whole hog. Be knocking some players back. Kellex on the Lucio just trying to get a touch. At least Fusion. he can touch. Uh, you got the Blase coming back on the Wrecking Ball. Just trying to make a play here, but man, it does not look good. Adaptive Shield wasn't, wasn't available. Fusions wistfully returns to the point on his beloved Winston. Gets rid of the Supercharger. Libro has gone down here. Mecco trying to hold the fort. Fusions, can he stall for long enough? It's N-O! Map number one. Him off the point. That's how they're able to get it ticked. They'll get a D-Mech here on a Blase. Oh man, that is not a great sign though. Getting Blase yeah. D-Mech there is pretty big. Flowers now having to do a little bit more damage. Libero has gone down. Fusion just pile drove into the back line of New York as they tried to mount this defense. He is causing many an issue. You're about even here, got yeah. Jonah. It is back and forth kind of fights. Now though, we have a 4v3 favoring NYXL. With Jonah being brought, brought back into the fight, you have to think New York is safe. Yeah, the call essence comes down from Persia, but it's the rocket barrage from Flower. Color Hex fourth rate walk away, probably just back onto the point. This call essence had to be used. Oh. The game alive, and Persia gets absolutely dumpstered by the barrage. Flower gonna make his way to the point now. Hoping to pressure Kellex away. Sound barrier for the Boston Uprising. No one Flower wasn't expecting a defensive ultimate there. He's too deep. Color Hex now needs to work around the outsides of this blizzard. Libero trying to finish it though. He got the finish and then Ice Block straight away. Stella was gonna cause some problems for him though. Blase throws in a mech and Blase has struggled. Getting d early. The last early, it gets a biotic orb given to him though by Persia. Let's see if the death loss is gonna be enough. No, he's frozen solid. No opportunity to get that off. Someone's gonna walk up with the EMP and this one has to be good, but it's too little, yeah. it's too late. New York now are able to stand tall. No one removed in that fight a hook to really punctuate the point. Put the period on the sentence that says, we full held you. preferred strategy of a lot of players I guess there. who's he gonna heal on the way through? Oh, Flower was too late before he even got there. Coalescence came out from Jonak, but a little bit too late. I guess he's gonna try and hose Color Hex down. Clearly haven't played enough Moira to know that there's not about the healing when you're on the play. Yeah, it's all clearly. about the damage. Persia just got washed. Color Hex now with a barrage gets rid of Mecco, but Mane removes it. Death wants to deliver it now. It's gonna have to be an ice block from Stella to stay alive. He's able to survive. Jonak's still alive. Yeah. 
He's been hanging around this whole time. Gets with a plus eight. Lauer comes in with a medial strike here and he gets with a stellar oh. Jordan. Just goes absolutely mental off the board. <laughs> Gonna follow up on the fusions. And sometimes Jordan is an element that just can't be accounted for. Battle Moira is rejoice. New York make it two to zero. He goes on the long play. Take. Behind Carter Hex was lurking Neko on the road home, but he's been spotted out, so no chance for him to get an assassination. Part of his back up to the point, though. The stall continues here. Maywall's thrown up. This will allow Boston to get a little bit closer on the point, but Jonah needs to stay alive in their back there. Keep Mano standing. Here comes the Dragon Strike. This is going to force the Uprising to split. And there it is. Opportunities for Libero to find a pick. Pelex also going down to the Dragon Strike, something that shouldn't really happen. Fusions is able to get rid of Flower. Jonah now returns to the Blizzards and yeah. play New York. Keep it on lock. Is forcing an early ice block out of Stella. Now, if he can stay safe, it'll be fine. But if he's pushed, it'll be a problem. Mecco, though, wasn't in a great position. Looks like he was frozen or otherwise CC'd in that spot. Now they're looking to try and run Mano down with the tanks out of the way. This should be pretty straightforward for Boston. Huge advantage for them pushing on to the point now. And for New York, they just stall as long as they can. Yeah, they have to use the transcendence to march on forward and then they run down Mano. But. Boston will be able to take point A. They will unlock. Now, I think Persia is aware that Jurnak is lurking behind. The Fusions goes down to the Dragon Strike. He can't get away from I don't think he is. He nanos somebody through the front and sleeps Persia. Yeah, Jurnak went in. He got caught out, though. Now it's going to be time for New York to push up, though. The checkpoint hasn't been captured yet. Coalescence, though, you cannot hide from that one. At least not if you're behind a shield. Mano is taken down, and so is the Supercharger. And there's really not much more to be said about this fight. New York tried something a little bit cute. It didn't work. And they invest it all again. It doesn't work. Immortality field thrown down to the point by New York now. And Libro needs to find some kills on this Doomfist. Another switch off the hard zone. This time, it opens up well. Adamo assists him with the kill on Blase. And Libro looking now for the wrecking ball. Maybe a rocket punch. The seismic slam to try and interrupt things on the payload a little bit. As a tracer of foot. Doomfist doesn't connect the rocket punch. But the uppercut was there. Palahex at long range. Gets rid of Libro. But he's going to need a little bit more help here on the payload. And he frankly just doesn't have it. The Boston Uprising come to a halt just outside of the end of the map. And we're starting to look good. Did a headshot from Flower. There's a Dragon Strike here that might go straight through the hotel. And it does. Still not trying to set something up on the right-hand side, but he's taken down by Flower. Now it's just a fusion. Two healers and an off tank in Blase. And there is a Blizzard on the horizon. It ain't looking good. Fusion's hooked in, taken down immediately. And maybe you don't even need the Blizzard there. New York get what they came for on the second attempt here on King's Run. Yeah, two fights. Both of them start the same exact way. Flower with a pick on a color hex. Uh, Persian don't have a Maywall here. Supercharger goes down for Mono. Oh, it's gonna be Fusions who puts one down too, but Color Hex again. It's a headshot. Supercharged headshot. Color Hex likely had no chance to respond to that kill from the main. Animo goes down to Stella, but the Dragon Strike gives New York so much space, and still somehow they're able to contest. Stella plays close on the other side of the Dragon Strike to keep the payload contested. And the headshot <laughs> as it comes out. Didn't find the head, actually. He didn't have to. Body shot will do the job. With a low health Hunter in his way. Libro backing up to behind the shield, and now the DPS are dueling it out. Boston sends Color Hex forth to try and keep this one stored. He gets Jonak before he gets frozen up. Boston are getting so many free, sneaky little kills they otherwise shouldn't be getting. New York are letting him in. Now Fusion steps up. One by one, they stall this payload out for quite some time. The pressure will mount on New York. Do you finally get the point? We can take a look. Color Hex's POV is... Yeah, oh. you are. Get out. Come on. <laughs> Color Hex going to try and sit back and Mecco Met Met is going to get desuited. Flower pushing it on the Genji. Trying to deflect a little while with the Transcendence is there on the Uprising of all the Ultimates that they need. Looks like they're able to stand on their own two feet here and force NYXL to go again. Over the top and Jonak under pressure. Color Hex looking for that pick off. Blase's already found two and it may as well be over. It pretty much is. Manaboosh doesn't do enough for Mecha as he was desuited and well, well, well. The Boston Uprising straight back in his... Flower now free to wrap around and cause problems. Color Hex is in the background. That means he can actually push even further up. He can cross this essential no man's land. Get behind cover and set up so that color. He's like glasses actually are like a way to keep his powers in like Cyclops from Mexico. Maybe he got contacts or something. Yeah, it could be that. That, that sounds more reasonable. Yeah. Jonak finds Persia there with a headshot. I really don't see New York slowing down very much at all here. Yeah. Again, it 
John. Yeah, they've sent Flower back to go yeah. and deal with him, so. Yeah, but, uh, Flower has to just kind of take some responsibility for it. Mecha whole hog fusions. No one can keep him alive. Jorinok's able to get him. Mecha wasn't able to finish for the whole hog because the shield was in the way, but Jorinok could see above it. And now he's starting to do his best blase impression. Stella down to a Sonic Arrow. Immortality field removed. Kelex now jumping in. Both feet first. And I think Boston now are kind of out of options there. Fusion's frozen as he got onto the point, and that'll do it. New York get the map done and plenty of time to spare. They do lose two fights, but that's it. Meanwhile, though, Libero launches the Bastion up in the sky. Meko somehow still alive for as long as he was. I'm impressed. Got hit with the biotic grenade. Kalahex trying to put Kalahex running from Jonah on Anna. He might actually take that 1v1. The rest of his team are, are going to get wrecked here, so I guess he may as well try and make something happen. Flower gets one of the Kalahex. Stella sleeping on the car. Now, Jonak tries to come back in on the Moira Cole Essence. It's very close, but he's a little low on health. He needs to stay alive for a little longer. This is so drawn out for Fiori. Yeah, big, big stall. It's gonna make their job in the last part of the map just a little bit easier. Color Hex had to use a Dragon Strike to get through. Sure enough, Boston looked like they will be able to prevail here, but the cost is high. Ah. I was gonna say, you potentially could have called that fight earlier. Mondo is still alive, rotating the wall down. It gives a little bit of time for Boston to get away from the blizzard, but it looks like he's caught the play that he wanted to. Fusions is down. Drunak gets picked up from Color Hex on that left hand side, and here comes Boston's blizzard. Looks like they do a one better. Mondo is removed. Ice block here, desperately used by Libero to try and stay alive, but now the sound barrier for Boston. Gonna let them push in that much more aggressively. New York kind of let things slip here at the end of things, Matt. As they press it forward, Mecha trying to stall things out. Mardo's also going to roll up, wall thrown up with a Dragon Strike to clear some space around the payload, but it won't damage the Uprising enough to win the fight. Mecha taken down, Blase is removed, and here come the reinforcements once more. Mardo back here on the Arista, super chunky. Libero! Oh, Libero! Gets in there with a the oh. Doomfist, and Jonak finds the finish on Kelex. That's oh, two for the Doomfist, make it three! 3-1, three, that is, for New York! Boston.